Ben Danoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. Question comes up today as we wonder about President Barack Obama. Is he really for Israel or is he Israel's enemy? Well, that seems to be quite clear the more as we see things coming unraveled in different news outlets around the world. In fact, it comes to our own attention here as we know that there are Iranian troops that are being spotted in Lebanon on Israel's northern border that indeed Obama, working with Iran, is only looking for another way to force his two-piece failed peace process plan that he tried to do with John Kerry. And seeing as it did not work out through the plan that he hoped his nine-month negotiations with John Kerry with Israel and the Palestinians to make a two-state solution, he now has the egg on his own face and wants to save face by forcing Israel's hand in a roundabout way. In the Iranian Project, which is the Iranian official uh, news website there, it is stated here in an article called Cuba and Iran. This article here was written by the, uh, by the Iranians. It says here, aside from uh, neco-conservatives neco such as Elliot Abrams and hawks like Lindsey Graham and John McCain, who predictably deplore the move and worry that Obama's move pretend, uh, pretends to, excuse me, pretends U.S. surrender at the negotiation table. The Wilson Center's Aaron David Miller <clears throat> was one of the first to do a more thoughtful analysis what it might mean if, for Iran's policy. In his post entitled, After Cuba Comes Iran, Miller argued that despite the key differences between the two countries, Obama's decision to n normalize ties with Havana should be clear sign of where he might like to go with Iran on the nuclear issue in coming months. Another, uh, they quoted one other source as well, and that was um, the Atlantic Council's Iran expert, Barbara Slavin, and she argues here, for those in the Iranian government who are pushing for a long-term nuclear deal with Washington, seeing Obama use his presidential authority to, re to relieve the embargo against Cuba despite the vocal objection of some in Congress should increase confidence that he can waive key nuclear-related sanctions against Iran in similar fashion. As I said, it's only clear evidence that the Obama administration in particular, President Obama, since he's the one uh, prancing around his power in D.C., has, has and does have the ability to do whatever it takes to undermine any type of relationship that the West may have with Israel. In fact, he is fulfilling his own biblical destiny. All nations will turn against Israel. Also on, um, on the Facebook page of the, the Iranian Facebook page and also in Arut Shiva's uh, Israel's News, there has been a photo published, which we're sharing with you as well, that was on the Israeli, excuse me, on the Iranian official uh, military website showing uh, they have whited out the faces, but on the, uh, on the actual website of the Iranians, they're not, their faces are not blotted out. Uh, some of Iranians' military uh, more than likely advisors on the Lebanon border with Israel. And they're touting that, uh, that Israel should be fearful for we are now gaining a closer stronghold in which to destroy our enemies. It says here in the article by Ruth Shiva, says preliminary information suggests that the pictures were taken in October but were released only recently along with verbal threats against Israel. Several photographs published contain the caption, We have arrived to the cursed Israel. The Twitter account linked to the Revolutionary Guards up, uh, upload a number of the pictures on Thursday with headlines, excuse me, with the headline, The Islamic Republic soldiers are on the border of occupied Palestine. Uh, at any rate, though, it is a clear indication that there is only war brewing in the near future. Uh, in one place on the Iranian Facebook page, people were saying, commenting on there, uh, that, that Israel need to be afraid. Well, Israel will not be fearful. But nonetheless, even if they do become fearful, it'll be the God of Israel that Iran will deal with in the end. 
as well. Also, in other news in, in Israel, <clears throat> on Friday we had a two of the security uh, uh, Israel, Israeli security officers were attacked by a, um, um, an Arab man coming from the Temple Mount from their Muslim prayers. He was wielding a knife, attacked both the officers. The, oddly enough, the officers did not try to return fire. Uh, they did try to defend themselves. One was stabbed in his neck, the other one in his hand defending himself. Uh, <clears throat> where, of course, you can see in the background here the video of that particular attack that was caught. The, the, the video footage was actually released uh, by uh, Ari, Ari King, who released that uh, from the Jerusalem Council, who posted the video on his Facebook page on Friday. He blamed the internal security minister, Yitzhak Aronovich, um, for the collapse of security in the capital and orders of security officers to avoid fire on Arab attackers. Uh, he, he says here, ask yourselves what stopped the Border Patrol officers from shooting with their personal weapons against the terrorists and who educated them not to shoot when they are trying to be, uh, excuse me, when they tried to murder them. This is what King posted on his Facebook page there. Very, very much of a concern in Israel as the, the, the soldiers there are being told to show a lot of restraint when dealing with Arab writers and attackers. Uh, only another case to where something must change in the Israeli government if we ever expect, expect to see any kind of peace. And of course, if someone like uh, Z Z uh, Zippy Livni comes into power there, then you can count on even more of such attacks taking place. Israel would be completely overrun by the Arab world, without a doubt. I'm Stephen Bendenoon with Israeli News Live.